Hello everyone to Information and Communication Technology IGCSE ICT paper to paper 2 for uh, May and June 2018. We're going to be doing document production today and let's check the paper. The question starts over here and it says you're going to perform some clerical tasks for Tawara training. And task number one starts always with the evidence document that we have to prepare it. So let's go and open the file or the folder and let's extract, extract the file or the folder. Uh, as you can see that it is uh, paper 2-2. So we're going to right click on it and extract it to the same folder name. So the first thing I usually group by and then through view I'll I will put the name extension then open the evidence file which is RDF file okay I have here a lot of RDF file you can easily locate them and here is the evidence file okay let's go to open on another screen so let me drag it over here and so make sure your name center candidate number will appear on every page of this document. They just mention it to be on every document without mentioning where it's supposed to be exactly. So let me just put it in the header and let's add the header with the three blank columns. And then let's add the center number and the candidate number, whatever they will give you later before your exam. Save this as a word process document, so it is clearly mentioned. This is an RDF currently. They want you to save it as a word document. In your work area as evidence followed by the candidate number as this. So if your candidate number is uh, 0111 or 0001, then it's supposed to be following with this. Currently, let me just copy the name and let's go to file save as and browse make sure it is saved in the same working area and then let's change the candidate number and always make sure that you're saving it with the word processing to file document and then save it click on ok and right now it's supposed to be already changed and just to double sure make sure of it may here it is also added okay we're done with this you will need to place screenshot and answers in this evidence document. Right now, let's start with task two, which is for document. You're going to edit a fact sheet. The company uses, uses a corporate house style for all their documents, paragraph styles, should be created and applied as instructed. Using a suitable software package, open apprend.rdf. So we have all the uh, RDF files here and here is the apprend <coughs> and the page is set to A4 landscape orientation 2 centimeter margins and they telling us not to change any of those settings so what we can do we just let's go uh, sorry over here in layout margins just let's go and have a look at it how it is or from this small arrow can see it is landscape two centimeter margins from all the four corners and the paper is a4 okay we're not supposed to change any of this so get back again to the question save the document okay this is what we have to do save the document in work area with the file name that is called fact sheet and make sure that it is saved in the format of the software you are using means it's supposed to be in the word document also so we need to change the name and we need to sh save it with the same format of the word so here's the first step and second step make sure that it is in the word document and that's it here we go it changed and just make sure that it is also added over here and here we go we got it okay so the next question evidence that's going to be our first evidence Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved. Make sure there is an evidence of file type. So mainly you have to show that the name and the file type is showing. 
to show the file type that's why I ask you to add the always extension if it is not added just make sure your file extension from here is ticked the second way to show it we can also extend this so we can show that it is Microsoft Word document so right now let's take the screenshot and here we go okay that's evidence number one let's go to the evidence file and paste it over here if you need to extend it a little bit you can do so okay the next question place in header so right now we have to do it in the header we're still going to work in the fact sheet so your name, center number, candidate number is supposed to be on the left side and the page number is supposed to be on the right side. So I have the page on the right side, the name and all those information on the left side. So let's go to this file. Let's go. Let's just double click over here. Header and let's add the blank three columns. Left side we have to add all of our information. And on the right side they're asking us to add the page number to do so we have to go to quick parts field and just go directly to page no need to select any specific format because they didn't ask us so just click on okay and here we go we got the page number which will automatically increase as you extend and increase more papers okay close the header okay we need to delete this but let's see if they didn't ask for anything else and right now in the footer an automated file name with a path right aligned okay an automated file name so we need the file name and we need the path and it's supposed to be to the right side so let's go to the footer right now double click over here footer here and add the blank three columns we need it to the right side then again go to quick parts field and we need to add the file name and the path it is under the name here this option or this is the category that or field we have to choose it which is name file name nothing to choose from here any specific format as it is not mentioned what we need to do is this one we need to add the path so we already included the file name but we need to include the path also so click on ok so here we go it is added the only problem that this thing is going to the left side so just go to home and make sure it is totally to the right okay we have things over here that we need to remove it but let's be patient and read the full question and see if they didn't ask us anything else okay so make sure that all alignments may match the page margins so you can see the page margin over here nothing is going out of page margins and no other text included in the header and footer areas okay like this we don't need this they're in, not required and then over here this is also nothing required so we have to remove unnecessary stuff and then headers and footers are displayed on all the pages as you can see as I go to the next page all of those header and footers are also included okay then I am done with point number two let's go to question number three which is the styles okay so create and store the following styles basing each on the default paragraph size so I have TA title TA subtitle subheads body bullet and table I prefer to put it always next to each other like this so we can easily read and create it if you have a small screen then it can be a little bit trouble for you so just try to avoid it and try just to make it with a full page so let's go to style over here and create a style we can do one thing we can add the small this window over here for all the styles and we can click over this new style here so that's the first style which is TA title let's copy it and that's the name come on why it's not pasted okay it's pasted and as they ask us here that basing on each to be all, all of those styles are supposed to be basing on 
paragraph so don't forget this point and as you can see here style is type is paragraph and then style based on always supposed to be also on normal this is the point that you will be always have to make sure that it is on normal the rest of the things will change automatically by itself this always will remain paragraph you only need to put the name here and make sure this is normal and this will be named automatically according to your uh, style name okay then go make sure that this is sans serif sans serif means not decorated not decorated can be calibri by default or ariel or corbel or anything that you would like to use it i will prefer to use calibri as sans serif 30 press enter after that because it is not applied usually so make sure you're pressing enter and the alignment supposed to be center bold and italic and it's supposed to be line spacing single and the space before and after of a zero zero to make sure of that format paragraph over here you can see the line spacing is this single and the spacing before and after is zero Okay, click on OK and here we go title is added you will notice that wherever your cursor is placed that text is going to change so right now if my cursor is here placed and I will go and create a next one that style that place will be changed right now with the next criteria don't worry about this point later they are going to tell you what to apply and where to apply which style Okay. So the next one is going to be TA subtitle. Sans serif, I can keep it Calibri. Okay, sorry, I have to make sure first this is paragraph and this is as I told you, we have to make it a normal. Okay, make sure this is Calibri. Uh, because it is sans serif and then 18. 18 and press enter. And then it's supposed to be left alignment. It is already left alignment. Just make sure. Underlined. Single and zero zero. Just to make sure of single and zero zero. Here we go. It's single and it is zero zero. And press on OK. Here we go. See, it is changing. Let's add the third one, which is the TA subhead. So again, sans serif, 18, center, bold and italic, and it's supposed to be single, but here the space after is supposed to be 9. So let's go to format, paragraph, here we go, the line is single, before is 0, but after is supposed to be nine the fourth one T A body We have serif times new roman and, and then it needs to be justified to make sure it is justified usually i don't have the icon here if some of you have the icon over here or uh, yeah i think this is the icon for it but you can make sure from here format paragraph and in alignment make sure that it is justified okay no enhancement it's supposed to be single and space after is supposed to be six so paragraph single space after is supposed to be six okay add it and here we go let's add for the last one ta bullet this to be based on normal Sans serif means um, not decorated, and then the font supposed to be 14. 
and here it's supposed to be alignment supposed to be bullet with indentation two centimeter from the left so to add the bullets we have to go to font and uh, it's not over here in the font okay let me make sure it is in paragraph nope must be somewhere else okay bullets and numbering okay over here okay but before that they didn't say any specific design okay it's mentioned here the shape it's supposed to be with the take side so again go to format numbering and over here bullets and select this one as they asked for this one okay click on ok and uh, make sure the indentation is two centimeter from the left so format paragraph you can see there is an indentation over here so make sure that the before there is before and there is after on your computer it might be this written as left and this mentioned as right so and some of you will be mentioning the same way like mine before and after so that is the same way exactly the same so they mentioned here the indentation is supposed to be two centimeter from the left so you have to make sure that here it is two centimeter from the left like this and then click on ok uh, before we click on ok let's make sure that it is single and zero zero as you can see here and then click on ok one last thing is left, the italic, we still didn't apply it, so make it italic, and we're done. You can see all the information is included over here. Here we go, like you can see over here, but we added everything, and click on OK. The last one, TA table. based on normal here and then it's supposed to be serif so times new roman will work as a serif this is supposed to be 12 it's supposed to be left no decoration no enhance oh sorry no enhancement i mean line spacing single zero zero just to make sure of it go to paragraph zero zero and single line spacing okay click on okay and here we go we're done so in evidence document, so let's expand it back again as we're done. Okay, so we can see over here, evidence number two, they're asking us for, take a screenshot to show that the style setting have been defined for the TA subhead paragraph style. Place this in your evidence document. So they need a, uh, um, evidence for ta subhead ta subhead is the third one over here so let's go to this we have the list of all of them this is the list required you can right click on it okay it is changing because i'm putting the cursor a different area and applying it so this one modify and here we go what we need to take a screenshot for this one Okay, let's go and apply it as evidence let me close this and let's go and apply it in evidence number two okay great let's go around to the next question t is up am i right yes okay display this custom style names as a list they want this all the styles as a list in the style manager organizer provides screenshot evidence for this style have been created named and set so this is supposed to be evidence number three to show the style names have been created and saved please this okay what we need to do we need to take a screenshot for this list okay that's going to be evidence number three Make sure there is no orphan and widows, so 
your title supposed to be always following <coughs> your content okay let's go to question number five uh, at the start of the document enter the title get ahead with an apprenticeship and apply the TA title style to this text okay let me copy it first of all go ahead over here and apply it and then they ask me to apply TA title this is TA title over here okay good then enter your name immediately after the subtitle that is produced by over here and then which style to apply is TA style TA sub subtitle Let's highlight it, TA subtitle. Okay. Apply TA body to the rest of the document. Means the rest of the document starting after the name from here till the end of the document till here. TA body which is over here. Change <coughs> excuse me. Change the page layout so that the subheading structure and all following text is displayed in two equally spaced columns so we need to space column and the space between them is supposed to be two centimeters spacing between the columns and change the page layout so that the subheading structure and all the following text read here carefully starting from structure till the end of the text so where is structure Currently over here so they're asking us from structure till the end we have to make it into two column layout okay so let's go to layout columns to we're still not done we have to go again to more columns and we have to make sure that the spacing between them is supposed to be two centimeters okay and then number nine am i done with eight yes so number nine apply the ta bullet style to the list of the items from intermediate apprenticeship till this level six and seven okay so let me so let's go and check where is this so control f paste the paragraph and we have two paragraphs like this okay the one that have some extension seems this one as this has just dot so it's supposed to be this one so what we have to apply we have to apply ta bullet and as a common sense you can see this even looks like a bullet points so let's highlight them let me close this one Till they say level six and seven, which is still this one. Then go to TA bullet, and here we go. It is applied. Identify five subheadings in the document and apply TA, okay, TA subhead to each of them. So I'm supposed to look for sub five subheadings. Okay, so the structure is the first employee ability skills is the second third traineeships fourth higher apprenticeships and this seems the fifth which is engineering apprenticeships i don't have any more so it is correct five of them i got it and i have to apply ta subhead here we go and as you can see uh, usually what I'm doing I am highlighting and I'm holding control on the keyboard and I can select easily whatever text I want in case you're having difficulty you just can do one by one highlight structure and then click on TA subhead then look for the next and apply TA subhead just make sure there are five subheadings using the data in the file which is named 
advanced.csv create a vertical bar chart the vertical is supposed to be from bottom to down or up to down not right to left okay so vertical bar chart to show the number of advertisements only for the higher apprenticeship for the years 2013 to 2016 to understand this let's go and open that csv file which is named the uh, adverts let's extend it and let's zoom it and check so let's try to understand this so i have an apprenticeship level over here and i have four years starting from 2013 14 15 16 and for each type of apprenticeship i have here different ones for the higher level advanced intermediate and traineeship opportunities and seems those are the number of apprentices or i'm not sure and we have a total for each year okay so the question says i have to open this file and create a vertical bar chart to show the number of advertisements only okay there are the number of advertisements only for the higher apprenticeships okay that's one point another point for the years 2013 till 16 which means all of them but only for the higher apprenticeship means that the rest are supposed to be neglected that's it no total nothing so you have to highlight only the first two rows and then go to insert click on recommended charts usually if I'm not wrong okay here is the vertical one if the recommendations are not correct here you have to go to old chart and look for what they ask you they ask us for the vertical bar chart which is over here choose always what you feel it is the most correct one as this one feels simplest and correct so click on it let's make it small smaller a little bit and okay here we go let me take it a little bit here okay as i'm going to get some options over here okay so what the question is saying okay i'm done till this point label the chart with the title growth in degree level apprenticeships so let's go and change title so can i extend this anyway and then format the value axis scale to display a maximum value of 3600 and increment of 600 but there is no minimum value all right let's go and uh, okay we have to choose the value axis so value axis we will have here two axes one with the years another with the number of advertisements so as we can see this is supposed to be the category axis and this is supposed to be the value axis so right click on it and click on format axis here we got the information that we need to change minimum they didn't mention about it they just mentioned for the uh, maximum which is supposed to be 3600 okay you will see that minimum change by itself automatically i'm not going to change it i'm in fact going to try one more again okay i'm just going to leave it as it is and then let's check the increment of 600 so the increment is supposed to be here always choose to the major increment 600 okay you can see automatically it changed to zero over here that's good and then make sure of your points i need to be 3600 and you need to increment incre increment to be 600 
those two values are correct for the rest we don't need to check it as it is not mentioned next point label the category axis with the title the year okay so category axis is over here but as you can see there are no labels for value or category axis mm, do not display the value for the axis title or any legend okay so click here on this plus sign and then go to not data labels um, title access titles and as you can see here you have for the horizontal and you have for the vertical we don't need to put for the vertical as the question is asking to be for the year so the year is the horizontal one okay do not display it for the value axis means we don't need to display for this and we don't need to display the legend either Okay, this way it looks much better instead of it is congested and then I'm done with this point insert the chart after the paragraph ending with scene in the following paragraph okay let's look where is this paragraph okay it's over here so we need to put the chart here so let's go copy the chart and paste it over here okay great and you can adjust it if you like to and if you want it to be make sure just it is not going beyond your margins And make sure the chart fits yeah exactly as i said the chart fits within the column width it's supposed not to be over the column width or bigger than the column or going out to the next side of the column and then all labels are displayed fully as you can see everything is clearly visible even this thing i was having trouble to extend it it got extended mm. okay so we're done with this 615 so let's go to 16 import the image that is called sign.png and place this below the subtitle produced by so produced by is already at the top here and they need to place it over here so insert the image let me just copy the path So subtitle produced by and then okay and then format the image so that it is resized to a width of four centimeter with the aspect ratio maintained okay so as you can see as you click on the image this format tab will appear and you will get here the height and width and what they say the width supposed to be four centimeter and we have to maintain the aspect ratio so let me just make the width to be here four okay you will notice the height will automatically change and then it is aligned to the left margin and the top of the paragraph Starting an apprenticeship is a real job. Okay, so left margin and top. So the image is supposed to be left and top of this paragraph, which is this paragraph. So what we can do, right click or just click on it and here the layout options, make sure that it is square one. So you can easily just did. in the beginning I added a line here remove it and then adjust your picture as you can see there are green lines appearing so I am on the left margin one more thing is this needs to appear the top margin 
that means I'm in the correct position you can zoom it to make sure everything is just correct okay great let's go uh, the text wraps around the image it's already wrapped and let's save the document with the file name uh, that we used it in step one that is called fact sheet already saved just make sure it is saved okay let's have a quick look can make this too okay and then right now we will carry on to part two of the document but before that we must make sure that we're done with the database part so always go in sequence so right now uh, what I did I am done after I finished the task to document I went and I did the video for the database after that when at the end of the database video I'm supposed to get an exported file in a uh, rich text format which is this one only after I get this one I will be able to carry on to the next one which is task 4 so right now let's uh, I got the file let's carry on to the next part of the document too so import the extract you saved in step 24 into your fact sheet document as a table after the paragraph which ends vaccines are available vaccines available are so first of all let's open that uh, um, sorry I'm opening the wrong file here so let's open this is my evidence file and let's go back again and open this fact sheet okay and control F and let's look for that sentence where is it okay it's over here what we need to do we need to import that RTF file into here uh, let me read the question again extract what we saved in step 24 into your fact sheet as a table okay as long as it as it is a table then I need to open the file and need to copy and paste it let me open this extract okay here I copied this extract and then let's go after this put a space and a new, sp a new line and paste it here we go I paste it like this uh, you might have different options here to paste you can paste in any option you would like to as long as it is okay but don't paste as a picture you can paste it in any format that's okay so, so far I can do it even no not this one definitely okay that seems okay but you can see here it is going out of the column width it is too much exceeding so we can reduce it and later we can adjust depending on the question what they ask us to do um, okay make sure that the table fits within the column so that's the first point that we have to make sure as it was previously exceeding if it is smaller than this that's all right but it shouldn't be exceeding the extract does not contain a title and then uh, the all required fields and their labels are fully visible uh, what they mean the extract does not contain a title that means there's supposed to be no title up here written or mentioned something these are in the gray line these are the headers so we're going to keep them just differentiate between title and header and all required fields and their label are, fu uh, are fully visible everything supposed to be fully visible as we can see here and no text is wrapped within the extract wrapping means going to the next line like this this is not okay over here um, okay we will adjust this point in a bit before that we need to do this point the T8 uh, style is supposed to be applied because everything is going to change so highlight the whole table and go and choose the TA table if you cannot see it visibly uh, clearly from here just open this small icon and select TA table as you can see this font becomes smaller here 
again make sure of all of those points it is fitting within the table it is everything is okay and let's come that there is no wrapping over here we can see still there is a little bit of wrap let's reduce the first column not possible so let's reduce this one still not going so what we can do let's see okay that's all right that is okay working and then let's carry on to the next there is a six point space after the table there is a space here I'm just going to make it exactly six point by making here six point and you will notice there is an extra space over here this space I want to remove it it is usually the space after so remove the space after so only six point will be left after the table okay and then we're done with those points so spell check and proof read the document and make sure the table charts are not split over the columns there are no widows and orphan no black pages house styles are applied spacing between all the items is consistent let's have a look over here you can see there is a Okay, let's extend it let's make it into a new one here and then we got also this one um, okay right now it seems okay okay that seems good right now let's see save the document okay let's proofread so let's go to spelling and grammar and high quality is the first of all with the high quality is fine and then high level also fine with also fine there is no spelling mistake and also fine and long term never mind and vacancy there is no spelling mistake with vacancy Let's see yep that's all right just because it is connected with id so ignore it and we have no spelling mistake or grammar mistakes all right let's go and print so finally we print this and this will be our print out too for print out too always make sure that your id number all those things are appearing so when you're going to print over here make sure that uh, your name id and center number is showing visible with all the headers and other footers okay there are no blank pages then that's great that will be our print out too many jobs are now being replaced by IT systems evaluate in your own words the effects of IT on potential employment for these apprentices so this is going to be evidence number 11 and it's supposed to be posted uh, in the evidence file it shouldn't be more than 100 words also notice that we have four points four points means we have to give at least four points for this evaluation so according to the words that I already have it here that we can say that uh, let me just check the question again we need to say the effects of IT on the potential of employment okay for this apprentices so how like these jobs can be replaced so many jobs got replaced by the IT and how it can be uh, affecting those apprentices okay fewer jobs are available as taken over by robots so we can say that uh, more jobs will become automation so it will be taken by robots second point we can say that will re reduce in the manual workers we won't need that much intensive workers that will do the manual jobs and instead the robots can do it faster and better creation of new ICT jobs new jobs will be created in need for those robots so increase in jobs for writing and programming those software increase in relating to maintenance for those robots other jobs that related to web designing and advertising will be needed jobs for project managers engineers system analysis will be needed people who will uh, will be trained or will be training those people will be also required and uh, tend to work 
in a cleaner and better and safer environment will be also here happening. That's one of the effects. And people may not have a full-time, sometimes permanent jobs. So the works will become just a part-time job and or compressed hours or job sharing can happen. So this is taken from the another, uh, from that uh, chapter six, I believe, or chapter seven. Um, that's why it is good to mention those type of points. The last point, working from home or remote or online work will be uh, possible as a freelancer or part-time job, online jobs will be possible. No fixed hours will be or fixed location will be needed at that time. So we reach to the final part of paper, of the document paper. I hope you got all the questions and answers and see you in the, in the next paper.